The first diagnosis is terrible enough. You are thrown underwater. The words, you have cancer, become a dark sea that tows you down, 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 until friends or family or a kind doctor or nurse pulls you up for air. Life is different after cancer. A new undertow of fear lingered. Each headache, each back pain, quickly spiraled into a vortex of possible lethalities. Life eventually settled. I continued on as if maybe I'm a lucky one, I think to myself. Maybe mine won't come back. A full year passed with no evidence of disease. I returned to running. And then I began experiencing an odd shoulder pain. I called the oncology nurse to report it, and her first words were worried. Uh-oh. My feet returned to water. My arms felt like stones. Time turned into fragments. The phone call came. We found a mass, said the doctor. We'll need a biopsy. The cancer had returned. I felt my terror. My husband and I cried together in the early mornings, and we wept quietly so our teenage daughter wouldn't hear. The last option was surgery. I wanted to say, it would be all right. I want to reassure myself that a recurrence isn't terrible, but one thing that cancer has taught me is to tell the truth. And so I must confess. The reincurrence was terrible. My survival odds have gone down. My future feels shadowed. But I also know that the same momentum and fight that brought you through cancer the first time can take you to the next. And the next. And the next. The support of people around me gave me strength. The constant reminders that people were thinking of me, the family, the friends, everyone who was there for me when I needed it. Knowing people were there to support me and help me up when I felt weak made this fight a fight I could win.